dollar weakness has been a theme that we've talked about quite a lot already at the start of this week. How much are you factoring further dollar weakness into your equity strategy? I know that uh, you have a bottom-up approach, but does this impact your strategy at all right now? It does. It affects the type of stocks that we invest in, clearly. And, you know, we don't see the dollar falling off a cliff, but we clearly don't see any support for the currency at the moment. And this is also good for currencies such as emerging markets currencies. It is good for the euro. Europe is looking marginally better than the U.S. right now from a macro standpoint. So it does affect the way we pick our stocks. Mm. And what's your stock picking strategy in the U.S. right now, Fabiana? You know, we're very concerned about the macro environment in the U.S. So the stimulus plan that has just been unveiled is good, as the amount is pretty much as expected. But I think it only supports the market up to a certain extent, because in the end, we're all going to ask what comes next, what is going to happen in terms of uh, debt, and also is this going to be sufficient, because we really don't know how COVID will continue in the U.S., at least in the next few months until the vaccine. So what we have been doing, we have been quite cautious on the U.S. We actually overweight Europe versus the U.S., and we prefer North Asia to the U.S. We have, however, started to take some profit out, and this is earlier in the last quarter from the high-flying tech stocks, because we believe that pretty much they've given all they could give. And we have started cautiously to move into more cyclical stocks, but still staying very high on the quality, again, because we're concerned about macro. Uh, yeah, that's interesting that you talk about um, taking profits from tech stocks moving into cyclical stocks. Do you get the sense, Fabiana, that in the U.S., the market is on your side with that? Or do you feel a bit contrarian in taking that view at the moment? Well, I think if you look at the results, uh, the recent results from tech stocks, which have been OK, have technically beaten but the market really seems to have a bit of high flyer tech fatigue. I mean, you need much more out of these stocks to actually justify the a huge differential in performance and in valuations versus the rest of the market. So I think the market is starting to feel that high flying uh, tech company fatigue and it will last for a while. Yeah. Um, we also have, um, of course, the Fed meeting this week. The expectation generally is that we're going to get a commitment to lower for longer, Fabiana. Um, how much is this baked already into the equity market? Of course, rates have, have barely moved uh, uh, recently. But is the equity market going to see any further upside from the Fed? Or do we need something um, with a lot of um, bang for its buck out of the stimulus plan to give more of an uplift to U.S. equities? Look, what the Fed has done until now has really supported the liquidity market. But really what it has supported has been a bear market rally where everybody has been piling in stocks that they felt were quite defensive during the corona virus uh, outbreak. What I think we're going to need next for another leg up, we actually need finally a better macroeconomic outlook because the next leg up will come from a rotation into cyclicals. And right now, you can see that in certain regions of the world, you see the improvement, for example, in North Asia, you see some improvement in Europe also with the latest rescue package, but still not in the U.S. Yeah. Um, yesterday, um, we noted the fact that Goldman, off the back of a weaker dollar, Fabiana, said they like foreign exposed tech and energy names on a weaker dollar. They've been touting U.S. stocks with high revenue from Western Europe and the BRICS as well. Would these be the sort of companies that you, you're looking at as well on the back of a potentially weaker dollar, Fabiana? Look, we actually have um, just recently published our quarterly outlook. And in the preceding one, at the uh, beginning of April, we actually made a call for North Asia versus the U.S. We preferred it because it was coming out of the coronavirus outbreak much faster and getting to a more normalized economy. In the recent outlook, we have uh, just added Europe to this. We particularly like certain areas in Europe, such as Germany, industrial, some specialty material companies. So if the call is start to rotate into cyclicals, yes, that is also something that we very much believe in. But we still believe that we should stay high on the quality scale.